Hey guys, so here we are. I got my bike out and I'm about to descend. I'll put together a GoPro video after this video. But I wanted to show you my Esgar Hey Duke in the 275 Plus mode with these Kenda Havoc Pro tires. So I've been running the Terabell tires they're much thicker casing. This is a thinner wall, but it really balloons out nice. And even though it has a little more shaved down tread pattern, it really gives a lot of traction. That's because of that wide profile, especially when it's paired with a really wide rim. You have to go wide rims if you're going to do 275 plus. I mean, I wouldn't go anything below um, 40 millimeter. These are 45 if you're going to do 275 plus with some big three inch tires i would even do 50 millimeter wide rims but i'm sticking with the 2.8s i'm going to try some three inch tires maybe just a three inch tire up front but i'm not sure if i'll put one in back anyway so this i found this is a perfect setup for this i mean look at the profile of that tire how rounded it is and how nicely that sets up that 275 by 2.8 on that I-45 WTB rim. And I really like the profile of those WTB rims, but they are on the heavy side. I mean, if you want to spend the money, I mean, you're literally going to buy a rim for the price of this frame. Um, you would be, you, you should get carbon rims, but there's not a lot of selection with carbon rims oh, that are super wide. Most of them are like 30 or 35, and I wouldn't even bother with a 30 or 35 on a 275 plus bike. It just uh, seems too small for me. Um, I mean, if you're going to do 2.6 inch tires, maybe, but then you're not really even doing plus tires. 2.6 is kind of normal right now. So I've got the, in the back, I also have the rim packed in there. That helps out a lot, but look how nicely that rounds rounds out and that profile is so it's going to give this this bike some flotation is the term we like to use so it's going to float over this you know this sandy loose stuff and give you a little more traction where it's kind of sandy and then also give you a little bit of suspension because it's a hardtail and then that rim pack acts as a volume spacer in there and gives you uh, a little um, compression dampening so there it is i'm getting ready to descend my trails and it's a hot day it's 90 degrees right now um it was hot i got up here a little bit late but i, I mean i late for me is nine o'clock so anyway i'm getting ready to throw my gopro on and descend but thanks for watching guys and um, please if you have any questions about 275 plus tires i'll be happy to um, talk to you about this one this one since it's a little bit thinner wall i would go a little bit higher pressure than my thicker casing tires on those terravel durable tires so this one is uh 14 pounds 14 and a half in the front 16 and a half psi in the back so it's um, a little bit higher pressure on the terravel thick casing tires i was running like literally like 10 and and um, it was, I mean, it still handled perfectly. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching uh, my channel.